In the Suzuki method, we have the repeated quick notes, this, like that, in the twinkle variations. So there you learn to activate the outermost joint of the fingers. And that is very good because you train the nerve impulses from the brain out to the fingers to go quicker. And these small activations in the uh, outermost finger joints are very good when you later play quick passages in different pieces. So uh, the goal with this training is also to eventually diminish the, the move and to use the smallest amount of energy. But also here we start with rather big bumping moves like this to be free in the finger, the hand and wrist and arm the whole way. And uh, I used to start with the third finger. I tell them to grasp and jump and we train on the leg like this and they also train on the leg so they can feel that they are free. And in the organ we have this rhythm like pepperoni pie. I don't know if you can say that. But anyway, the pie note, the last note, the long note, you train it separately afterwards, like this. And eventually you connect them, like this. For the pedal playing, my students play in socks from the beginning. If they later on want to use shoes, they can do that when they start to play with more heels in the pieces. But it's very good in the beginning that they can feel how they press down and lift up the key like this. And they should sink down in the pedal and lift it up, keeping the contact with the pedal so they don't lift it. And uh, I ask them to feel the pedal against the foot pad between the first and the second toe or on the big toe so they like they are more walking in moss like this and I use the word listen very much so listen how you release it so for example when they shall train to turn like this listen how they release it and listen and sink down near the pedal keys. <laughs> 